<laughs> I'm going to make this as sweet and short as possible. <laughs> the best thing that you can do is just ask for a separate, separate check. check. That's it. That is the cleanest way to get out of this situation. You do it off the rip. You can even pull the you can pull the server side separately. Even if they were going to do all one check, you'd be like, yo, you can give me mine separate. <laughs> yes. Yes. Hi. Welcome to the Modern Waiter Podcast. I'm Marlon Joseph, the Modern Waiter, where we discuss all things restaurant business. Learn something. Laugh at something. <laughs> On today's episode, we're going out with people who have bad restaurant etiquette. Ooh. Be it family or friends. As restaurant employees, sometimes we find ourselves with people whose restaurant etiquette makes us cringe. Mm -hmm. We will discuss the best way to survive the evening and possibly save you some embarrassment. Ashley E., we have got your back. Gotcha, girl. But first, the intro. <laughs> I'm tired of working deadbeat jobs for lame pay. I'm tired of getting fired and hired the same day. If you know the rules of the game, then you'll stay. And if you don't, then you'll be a part. As usual, I'm joined by my good friend Danny DeVilla. What's up, what's up, what's up, people? Have you had any cringeworthy situations with friends or family out at a restaurant? Not in a while, but yes, definitely. Okay. And how long ago just for reference oh, it's had years now probably okay yeah before this uh podcast no uh maybe in the earlier stages okay i i received a on instagram a message mm -hmm. from ashley last name begins with e and she described some some cringe worthy she she's like i'm never going out with these people again well, I mean, yeah, that's what usually happens. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. You're like, okay, I can't do this. Yeah, I'm not, you're not doing this with them again. I can't imagine it was that bad, though. It, it can be. It can be, right? Yeah. And so I, I, I'm here to help. I, at least of all, if I can't help, we're here to talk about it. Yeah. Right? And so it, personally, I have only had a couple of situations that I can remember. And I'm, I'm first of all, being on the fringe kind of sucks you know when you're not in charge like when you're invited when you're the, oh when you're invited when, yes when, when, when you're the plus yes. the plus one when you're the plus it's, it's even worse yeah because then you, you just can't even do anything you just look at like because like you don't know these people like, why am i here yeah you can't like, like what do they get me into oh, it's it it, it 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 really offends your sensibility right some of it is ignorance in a way that they just don't know what it takes to do the job there's a way to go about things there's a way to go about it it doesn't have to be the nice way. It's just a way. There's a certain True. way that there's a line that you just don't cross. And you can be stern and still be not an asshole. Guy. Yes. Yeah. That's, <laughs> I think that's most of the show. Don't be an asshole. Yeah. Don't be an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> My dad used to tell me, oh, you're always defending, you know, the staff. And I said, it. what I'm saying is not a defense. I'm, I'm just, just giving you a reason. Look through the other lens just for the second and yes. just... And yes, and reasons why. Yes. Okay. It's important. If you understand what someone has to go through, I'm not saying that, oh, you know, we have to bend over backwards no. for the for the server. No. That's that's the opposite of what I'm saying. But if you understand what they have to go through sometimes, then you'll understand why this might have taken so mm -hmm. long. Or, or why XYZ happened. Or correct. why I mean, and sometimes if they just suck at their job, sometimes they suck at their job. Sometimes they suck at their job. Yeah. And, but still, I find it to be very uncomfortable if you are rude to a server. It really taints everyone at the table. Mm -hmm. Really? Because then you're, you're that rude table. Yeah. What are you going to do? Exactly. Now, in order to, to help, I've broken it down into bite-sized pieces. I mean, there really is no other way because there's no blanket way to say, oh, just do this and just do that. No. We want to rely on your circles of influence. Mm -hmm. And by that, I mean, in some cases, you can speak up and say things and affect people in a, in a, in a manner that they may listen to you. And in other ways, you got to sit there and take it. Yeah. That's... You know, yeah, you're on the fringe. You're on like, the fringe. If you're when, on the, especially if you're like you said, the plus one, mm -hmm. or you're not in control of the situation. Yes, you are. Yes, it it gets it can, and then that can get even uglier. Oh yeah, because you're just like, then like you're you the said, asshole. Yeah, and you're like, <laughs> <laughs> you know, you're jumping up, championing stuff, and then you're 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 yeah. the thing that you don't like. Yes, exactly. 
So let's let's describe a basic framework and then we'll talk about how to deal with it. Mm-hmm. Just a discussion for for our good friend Ashley. Yes, talking. Okay. Let's describe the interaction, right? As before, during and after. So before the meal, during, during the, the meal. experience, and then the after we'll talk about with the dealing check. with the check. Cuz it can go great until then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it can be a beautiful situation until that check comes about. So. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yes. So now your circles of influence, we're going to break down. Let, let me give you the, the framework. It's going to be with close family and friends. Mm-hmm. It's going to be with coworkers. Mm-hmm. It's going to be with large parties, but large parties we're going to break up into two. Yeah. Large parties of which you are the focus and large parties of which you are just a guest are the are the guests. Yes. Thank you very much. I love it. I love it. I love it. With close friends and family in the beginning, you have influence. Yeah. Okay. You can prep them by setting up some ground rules before you imp- before you you know you go out. Mm-hmm. And what I would advise is implementing the rule of three. Okay. And by that I mean. You get three of the following. You get three comments, you get three requests, and you get three questions. Mm -hmm. That's it. Now, any situation can handle that. Yeah. Even if it's not that nice or well packaged, three is not, three questions isn't isn't bad. No. It's not a lot. Yeah. It's not overly, it's not over. It's not overbearing. It's not 12 questions. Mm -hmm. What's in this? What's in that? You know, oh, tell me about that. Can you repeat this? What comes in that? Oh, I'll just have, I'll I'll have a Caesar salad. That just stressed me out. (laughs) (laughs) I mean, yeah. So that way you prep them beforehand and you say, if, if it's your mom, you're like, mom, you got three. Yeah, three questions. You got three comments. Especially if you know that's your that's your mom's style. Yeah. Yes, because you know that that's what we're dealing with. You yeah. already know. You, you know who you're dealing with. You already know when who you're, you're dealing, dealing, with dealing with. Your family. With. You know what you're dealing with, and you can, you know how to prepare yourself so you can have a better experience. Yes, and you also allow the person to be themselves. Yes. So it's not it's not like oh sit there and be quiet and don't do anything no, no, no. and you, don't yeah, enjoy you your talk. meal. Do you? Yeah. Yes, you get to be yourself. But yeah. once you're engaging this person. You you reach your three question limit. Yeah. Okay. So prepping them. Start tap. Well, you know, <laughs> we talked about this. We talked about this. Yes. <laughs> and so beforehand, the second thing that you can prep is how the check is going to be handled. Mm-hmm. And I find that to be very important, no matter what, across all the boards. You want to do that in the beginning. Oh, how yeah. is the check going to be handled? Is, is dad paying for these 12 people or is dad paying for us four or are we splitting it? Are we doing mm-hmm. four separate checks? Are we are we just putting four different credit Three cards, cards and split it mm-hmm. evenly? Talk about the money, please. Yes. And that way... And with family, it's not that hard. It shouldn't be, at least. It, it shouldn't, shouldn't be. be. Yeah. You don't know what kind of relationship... The family, yes. You know, or it could be complicated. Mm-hmm. It could be contentious. It could be any number of sequels. Absolutely. And now... So during the meal, you can monitor the rule of three. Like, oh, you already used up all your questions. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was one too many, you know, dumb comments or whatever the case may be. Maybe you don't want to judge them that way, but, you know. I mean, that's the truth. Maybe that's the truth. (laughs) And now with the after, when the check comes, Mm -hmm. you simply execute the plan, right? You, everybody knows what to do. Hey, that was separate checks. We already told you this yeah. and that, blah, 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 blah. You don't have to fight for the check. In the case of where uh, people fight for the check, I love it. Yeah. Enthusiastic people paying the check, love, love it. it. You're my guy. I got no problems yeah, with that. Let that happen. <laughs> yes, let that happen. And so if you find value in our show, Please pass it on to a friend. Let them know that you you found the show, and it might be this show that's particularly relevant yeah. to them. If you don't mind, there's a share button. Just pass it on to them, and consider subscribing. Yeah, man, it really helps us out, and it finds content that's similar to for 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 us to keep it, give it to you. That's 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 correct. So thank you for that. Thank you for listening, and so 
when you're out with coworkers, I can only assume that you have once been in the restaurant industry mm-hmm. and you have some some feelings towards the workers and things like yeah. that. And and you're not as familiar as friends and family. family yes. You're not going to have that much influence. You're going to have less influence in the before part of mm-hmm. it. And and that's that could be challenging. That could be challenging because you don't want to put Someone's any my shoes. Yeah, but, but there's a, there could be definitely strong personalities. There could be a lot of different. It could gears. be your boss. It could be your boss. You're not putting rules on your boss. No. Hey, boss, there's a rule of three. You want to keep your job. Yeah, <laughs> you want to keep your job. So, but you're hoping if they're in the address that they already understand these certain rules. You're hoping. There's a hope. There's a reason why we're doing the show. <laughs> the hope is gone. True. Right? We're doing the show for a reason. I mean, we deal with a lot of things. Mm-hmm. And so you know that this show is needed. The, I mean, not even this episode in general. Yeah. I even thought about when, when we talked about doing the show, we originally were educating non-industry people. Yeah. And then, you know, really narrowed and, down and pivoted for... Cause, and, and, and educating non-industry people and relating with industry people was, was the original goal of yes, the show. Yes, yes, correct. Breaking it down f- to the before, the during, and the after, when you're with uh, when you're meeting coworkers in a restaurant, if you can establish ground rules, great. You have a great uh, mm-hmm. working relationship. But then I would advise with the poor behavior during, just... Number one, don't participate mm-hmm. because sometimes that's all it takes. Sometimes that that negative energy feeds on negative energy. energy. So if they say, oh, you know, this person sucks or whatever, you're like, oh, it's it's kind of busy. So, you know, that's to be expected. You don't yeah. want to be negative in addition to no. trying to combat. What you're really looking for is to be a ray of sunshine. You want to be positive. You want mm-hmm. to be light because the two can't exist this, in the yeah. same space. You, you, if you're going to have some dark, you need some light. You need some light. And so that person really has to to try to continue to be negative if you're just simply, you know, deflect, deflecting the stuff. Don't push back. Just say, yeah, it's a little busy. You know, I don't mind waiting. And, yeah. You know, I, the, be positive. Positive, yes. Yes. And that that really, really helps. Make a joke if you if you can. And, and shed light and say, oh, man, you, you got a lot of questions or you got a lot of demands. Yeah. Or, you know, try not to label the person as being difficult because sometimes people love those labels. Mm-hmm. You really, you know, it's a Sometimes negative reinforcement. Give them a look. <laughs> what do you mean by that? Like you said, like, oh, you got a lot of questions. Or like, like keep it light, like, and then you him like, Are yes, you serious? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. You know, keep it light, keep it fun. And joke, and it makes that Did person be that? aware that they're, yeah, <laughs> exactly. Make them be aware that they're being extra. Yeah. And so during just mostly not participating, then 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 that really helps. Mm-hmm. And then going from there. Now the after. This is with coworkers. Yes, this is with coworkers. That could be uh, a conundrum. You know, like how you how you handle executing the check the check usually it's key like when you're going out with coworkers, it's, it's probably for drinks and maybe some light food like mm-hmm. after work so depending on the establishment there you, you usually know they kind of know that you know especially if you frequent it or if, if you're bringing somebody there for the first time mm-hmm. they know to keep it separate for you but we're we're going to go to a place that they don't know us okay and they don't know what's going on True. so we'll say if i'm there I'll let them know in the beginning. Yes, we're going to have separate checks, or it's going to be one check, and we'll figure it out together. All right, let's 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 put up a scenario where you know the person's cheap. Mm-hmm. Let's say let's say we're back to friends and family. Yeah, right. Your dad said he's paying the check, and you know dad doesn't tip well. Well, yes. What what do you do? You know, so do you add money to the bill, possibly offending your dad? Do you sneak off? I'm a sneak off to the bathroom kind of guy and I give him the handshake. Okay. And let let dad pay the bill. And so that's even that's even challenging because you're out to be taken out and then you're putting money out of your pocket too. True. You but know? you know, but you you I mean you're not putting that premium out of your pocket. True. You know, True. You, you were just doing you're just balancing out the forces that 
pertains to you because we're talking let's say we're talking about people in the mm-hmm. industry and we want to give them what we know is what they deserve i got you what about uh what about splitting the checks up maybe maybe the, we're bouncing back to co-workers and okay things like that. yeah and you know boss is paying he's cheap or 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 your 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 friends are cheap your co your, your yeah and if you know if you, if you know your coworkers are cheap then you want to do separate checks yeah. off the rip you, you already know you're kind of going or if you don't know who they are you like let's do separate checks and and you're kind of gauging to see where they're at because you know for, for yourself what you want to leave mm-hmm. so it's always easier to say and then that's where you can almost lead and be like yeah yeah we're gonna do separate checks or you know and if and they and now your coworkers insist on being one check then you just know well maybe we'll just do evenly with, with, with four credit cards and you leave your tip accordingly. It's it's interesting because I've seen people the way they they act when the check arrives or or how money is alligator involved hands. and things like that. <laughs> yeah, alligator arms. And then we as in the industry tend to be single minded when you know and, and a little bit looser yeah. when it comes to it comes to that stuff. But some people get tight down to the penny. Mm-hmm. You know, they they want like, they want you to know that they didn't have that that glass of eighteen dollar yeah. wine. They had you know a soda and things like that, yeah. which is fine. fine. But it, it's how do you navigate that? I've never worked in an office. True. So Me either. I mean, not like a direct office now. Yeah. So for those that are out there that are working in office, no. let us know. Let us know. Yeah, let us know how you deal with money situations with your coworkers. Yeah, because clearly a restaurant ends up being a money situation. Wation. Yeah, and that's curious to me because I, I like to learn, and by learning I could, you know, help other. I mean, people. I've seen it happen, you know, and that's usually either a separate check. And my biggest thing is I don't mind the separate checks, but I like to know in the beginning. So for anybody out there who's not in the industry, mm-hmm. and you kind of know your situation, try to let your server know. In the beginning, that there's going to be some, so they can stay organized first and foremost. Yes, you don't want to, because people can get sloppy quickly. Mm. Like you said, you might not have had any wine, and they did, but they maybe they have four glasses. Now the server doesn't know what's going on. You know what I mean? There's just been an abundance of stuff being ordered. True. So you want to keep it as crisp and as organized as possible from the very beginning. So that is why you let them know about split checks or anything that's like that. Yeah. I treat spill checks like a like a request. If you don't tell me in the beginning and then you're buying shots for this person and not even for, if you're ordering shots, yeah. if, if words come out of your mouth. It's on you. It's on you. Mm-hmm. And then uh, it's it has to be somewhat easy because my job is to keep track if I know that I'm supposed to, to keep, keep track. track. Absolutely. I got it. If I made a contract with you and says, yes, separate checks. Not a problem. It's automatically one bill and that might be regional because i've I, i've gathered from traveling that mm-hmm. some some places automatically will do separate checks until otherwise but i mean i've seen it on like their systems like you know it says like guest one seat one but you don't you know you don't know how like that could be the system itself you ever seen like the checks that come in and true, they say, true. They say guest one had X, Y, Z, guest two had X, Y, Z. So it, it, it's separated, but that, that might be in the system as a whole. But I still think as a whole, when, wherever you're going to go, your your generalization is there's one check. And yes. then from there, we're either splitting or not. But they should know because you don't know what kind of system they have. So you as the guest should add, it's, as that's your one responsibility as a guest. If you're doing separate checks and you know from the beginning, let your server know in the beginning. Half the time. You know, you, you know right know away. You, checks. you and know then at it. The end, the check comes. Yeah, you ask for the check, and you go, oh, this, oh, well, they had this and they had that, or we're going to do staples, going to do separate checks. <laughs> like, oh, dude, sorry. you've known since you before you walked in the door. You discussed it with your family, like we talked about. Yeah, as part of the three step rule. Here's your pen. <laughs> yep. Now, yourself. now you got to put one, two, three, four. Yep, one, I mean, two, three. <laughs> and then I'm also putting you in the back burner. Oh, yeah. You got to wait because that's, that's time t- consuming. That takes extra time. Extra time. Even after I separated the checks, it takes time. Yeah. You know, but we did a show on separate checks. Yeah. This is not it. We're going to bounce back into this. Yes. We're going to b- bounce back into it. So the 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 after, which is the, the handling of the check, Danny, you made a very good point. In the beginning... Figure out what's, oh, how are we going to do this? Once you order, you say, oh, how are we going to do this? Separate checks? Are we going to figure it out at the end? Da, da, da. Yeah. No problem. problem. Yeah. And that's that's my favorite way to do it. Yeah. 
just let's all it'll it'll even out. It'll but even out. I've also never. But, had but to we deal go with... out with each other. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm trying. You know, I really want to be fair. <laughs> yes. To because we see to it. Situ- the, the situation. Truth is, we'll be out and we, and I see it as well though. Like yeah. I'll see it at the table while I'm working. I'll see it when I'm out, like mm-hmm. at the spots that we frequent that we are the easier ones to deal with. But I'll see it on my my fellow. You know, my not my coworkers, but you know the people that I'm going to go see. Like, let's say I go to we're going to like the the bird or something like that. Mm-hmm. You can know when somebody's extra and somebody's not. <laughs> true, 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 true. Man, I feel so blessed. I yeah, I don't have to deal with any of that. Oh, at all, at all. Even my family, I'm good. Most of yeah, and they usually let me direct the things. They're like, oh yeah, Danny, this is what we need to do, or how much is the tip? Like yeah. my dad's easy. Goes well, what should I tip? I go or he'll be, he just. Who just like here? Fill it out. Yeah, and I'll sign it. <laughs> and I'm 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 fair. If I'm out with my mom, my dad never asks me those things. Yeah. Uh, but when I'm out with my mom, she will defer to me, and if she's paying, and if there's any extra to be given, I will give it. Yeah. You know? Absolutely. And that's not, yeah. I'm, I'm, yeah. Yeah. You. My mom. So it's opposite for so it's my mom's like like your dad, and mm-hmm. then my my dad is like. We're in the mom, the ex- same thing. Okay, yeah. But some, <laughs> one of the parents asks, yes. you know, and defers and stuff like that. And and that's fine because it, you know, and at the same time, I'm also grooming and educating her when she's out mm-hmm. by herself and things yeah. like that. And so she never, never was a, most of the, the education comes from when, when we were comped something. Mm-hmm. You yes, know? and that's really where you got to look at, like, you look at your check and see if they took care of you yes. or, or if something along the way got taken care of. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's when the little the little, the little, little extras come in. The little extras come in because you want to pay it forward. Absolutely. In some situations, it's not the whole thing. No. In some situations, it is the whole thing. Yeah. You know, you really want to pay it forward because you got taken care of. I'm going to take care of this person. Mm-hmm. And uh, in, in the situation where it's a large party, Okay, we got a large party and you are the focus. Maybe it's your birthday or you're you gathered everyone together mm-hmm. or or you're celebrating, you know, you're passing the bar or whatever the case may be. You have as much influence as the situation of friends and family. Yes. As anything else, whether even if it's uh, co-workers and you're out, you still have that influence. Yes, because it's, folk, it's about you. It's about you and your wishes be be heated mm-hmm. because... You're, you're going to say in the you're beginning. The fo- you're, you're the focal point. Yes. yes. Oh, you know, we're going to have a fun time. We're going to have an easy time. Let's do it this way. Yeah. Let's have that. Uh, you work out the check thing in the beginning. Absolutely. You you make sure that, you know, come on, Bill, don't ask so many questions. Mm-hmm. You, you, you know, you have that influence in the beginning, the the during the meal and after. Yeah, the end, because, yes. you know, it's it's deferential when the, the other person is the focal point. Yes. The biggest challenge I find is and I've had this challenge is in a large party and you're not the focal. You're not the focal. You're you're you're, you're the plus one. You're the plus one. You're you came with you you're there with your girlfriend's coworkers. Yes. <laughs> and I'm going to make this as sweet and short as possible. Yeah. <laughs> the best thing that you can do is just ask for a separate, separate check. check. That's it. That is the cleanest way to get out of this situation. You do it off the rip. You can even pull the you can pull the server side Separately, even if they were going to do all one check, you'd be like, yeah, you can give me mine separate. <laughs> yes. Yes. Because be- I don't know these people. I don't know these people. I know I could take care of you. you. I got you. Yes. And you really are not going to be able to make up the difference no. in a large party. No. You just got to sit there and take it. Mm-hmm. Grin and bear it. If they're being rude and you're the plus one, it's... What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Please tell me. You, I'm going to order another drink and try to forget just happened. Yeah. I, mean, <laughs> I, might, I, might, I might get up from the table. I might leave. Yeah. You, you, there's some things in life that you just suffer Sometimes, through. Yeah. You, you'll suffer through it or you, like I said, you can walk away from it for a second. I got to go to the bathroom. Yes. Or, and then you sneak downstairs to get a shot because yes. you don't know what the hell you're, you just walked into. Now, <laughs> it's important to know if you see abuse or theft or something like that, you deal with that. Absolutely. But if it's just something that you prefer not to be around, so that's don't petty. be around it. Yes. yes. When it's petty and and petty is usually what we're talking about. And I'm sure that's what Correct. what our what our um Ashley. Yes, was was probably happened to her. Something very petty, something very catty, something very just not cool. Mm-hmm. Not cool. Yeah. 
Yeah, I mean, I'm not telling you look the other way when somebody, you know, is being, you know, harassed. No. Or embarrassed. You no, you shouldn't. And things like that. You want to you want to be a good human being and stick up for people yeah. that can't, you know, that, that are in a challenging situation. But boy, you just got to sit there and take it. Sometimes you got to, yeah. Depending yeah. on what it is. Ask for your stuff on the side, mm-hmm. your separate little separate chat, you give them the nod. Like, I got you. <laughs> I got you on me. I don't know about them. I don't know about them. I don't know them. I don't know them. <laughs> like, these two right here, separate check. Yeah. And let me get another uh, and <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> my guy. <laughs> You're my guy. Yeah. And then you have that almost, then you almost have a personal relationship with the with that person. At the, at, now you've already switched it to the focus on you, at least when it comes to you. Yes. Okay. Yes. And from, it, that's probably the best way to do it because you can switch that focus right back on you and then you're individualized as a person. Yes. And they can just kind of focus on that. The, the whole party as a whole is one thing, which is fine. Mm-hmm. But, you know, sometimes you have to break away, especially when you know it's separate tracks, you break away and, and you cater to those people that are going to, that yes. make your life a little bit easier. Because then you can focus out on the people that are being a pain in the butt. There you go. You, know? you don't got to worry about me. Yeah. <laughs> and and I feel that way sometimes when um Are you ever at the table and you feel like like yo like thank like thank God this normal person's here? <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you that happened to me as a plus one at dinner. And I was like, man, these people, they are they are extra. Yeah. And then it, it happened at the end of the check and you know me. I got to say something sometimes. <laughs> and I blurted out, I'm like, you people are cheap. Yo, hit it together. <laughs> you know? <laughs> you people are cheap. Not claiming the stuff they yeah. ordered and all that stuff. You know you ordered that shit? I know what I had. You and know, I, you know I what saw you had. what you had. You ate that. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't offer it to you. You yeah. ate it. <laughs> it can be rough. It can be. And then sometimes it makes you feel cheap. Yeah. You know? Because like, you got to call cheap? people out. Yeah, we have to call you like... But no, you're not. Okay, especially if you do what we said in the beginning, then you did it right. I uh, sometimes I feel that way when I'm I'm flying. Mm-hmm. It's like, man, I wish there was something I could do. You know, because you hear how people talk to yeah, you know the the people that help them on mm-hmm. on flights, and they don't they don't act right. They don't. You just want to slap them, but then you're in trouble. Yeah, <laughs> you know. <sighs> All right, I tip on my drinks on the, you know. Yeah, I throw my headphones on and I got to just zone them out sometimes. But they have so, the thing is, they have so many things to do. It's hard to create that relationship yeah, with no, them. Yeah, no, because you have seconds with them on a plane. You have seconds. Even yeah. when they're taking your order, they're not coming back to check on you to see if you want another drink. No. They you're don't lucky, know you. You're lucky if you do, if they do. Yes. You have to stop them yeah. on the plane. You got to stop, yo. As they're walking by, oh, can I get one more? It's almost guaranteed that that has to happen. I tried. Uh, here's where it's challenging. When when they don't when they don't ask for the the money right away. Mm-hmm. In you want to tip them. You want to give them. They go. Oh yeah. You know. It's like nah. Here's here's for you. Co- here here's for you coming back to me. Yeah. <laughs> Right? I want you to remember this. Yes, I need you to come back to me. I want you to remember this transaction. Because there's going to be more of these. There's going to be more of these. <laughs> this is what I need to happen. <laughs> and so that's a challenge. But I get it. I mean, they got mad responsibilities. Yeah. And and so if there are any airline people out there, please let us know what you have to go through in, in relation yeah. to dealing with people. I find that to be some sort of service as well, and I'd love to. I have somebody in mind, but like we're really good friends, but he doesn't live here, and I like to have him in studio. Mm-hmm. But when he comes in, he's in Miami. I'm not trying to go to Miami. Yeah. You know, so maybe we'll figure something else out for you. But in general, let us know about your embarrassing time you've had with your loved one, co-workers, friends, or family. We'd All love the above. To know. And uh, thank you so much for listening. I'm Marlon Joseph, the Modern Waiter. I'm Danny Lillard. Subscribe, 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 people. We'll see you next time. Later. Killing them out there. Haters don't like. Killing them out there. The haters don't like. The haters don't like. The haters don't like. That boy is killing them out there.